Hello friends, my name is Dipen Dikshit. I am from YouTube video channel of Dipen 618. In this existing video lecture, we are going to see the advanced view of data grid which is somewhat different from the default data grid view that we see after adding from toolbox in Visual Studio. So friends, for this lab, I am going to use Visual Studio 2012 and the language we are going to use is C sharp. So first open your Visual Studio 2012 and create a simple form. So here is a form that we have received already. So I am just uh, increasing the size of this form. And guys, I want to open this form in the center of the screen. So here is the start property and here you will choose this center screen option from here itself. Now guys, we will drag and drop the data grid from our toolbox. So go to the window form and here drag and drop this data grid view. So friends, at the existing moment, this data grid is appearing in the, in the center of this form. But we want this data grid to occupy the entire space of this form. So for that, what you will do, just click this arrow and click this dock in the parent container option. So guys, you can see that this data grid has occupied the entire space of this form one. Now friends, you will create a connection to the database. So I will just double click this form and guys here inside this form one underscore load event we will create a new sql connection to our database the final stock name table from which we are fetching the data and with the help of this data grid, grid view one dot data source we are transferring all the data from this data table inside this data grid view so guys this is only the coding which is in the back of this form so guys, uh, now if I compile and run this form application, so here you can see that uh, we have the data grid view and it is uh, having all the data displayed before you. Now friends, we will modify this default data grid view one by one. So friends, uh, first what we will do, we will remove all this uh, lines that here you are seeing all this horizontal and vertical line we don't want to see this horizontal and vertical line inside our data grid so for that what you will do just uh, right click your data grid view go into the properties and friends from here itself you will choose one property so guys here is your yeah this is cell border style is the property so if you want to see all the data in the form of row and column then you will choose single option from here itself and guys if you don't want to see the data inside the data grid view in the form of rows and column so remove this single option from here and choose the none option from here and then again compile and run this program so now guys, whatever the form application here you are seeing is having no uh, means line that vertical and horizontal line. So the second thing that we are going to do, we don't want this uh, row header. Actually, whatever here you are seeing on the uh, left side of the data grid, it is known as row header. Okay. So we don't want this row header. So if you don't want this row header, then again go to the properties of this data grid view and guys here you will see one option and uh, I think uh, yeah this row header visible option so at the present moment it is having the true option so I am just choosing the false option and if you again run and play this form so here guys you can see that this data grid is occupying the entire space of the form and the row header has been removed from here means id is existing on the left side of the form one now friends we will see a scenario or friends you can also say that if any of the data is not 
being shown completely in the data grid then how you can uh, show that data completely in the data grid if it is hiding due to lack of space so what i am trying to say is that see here inside this sub category column here is a, a data known as chicken masala and if you expand this so this uh, this data is chicken masala mur but guys this data is not displayed totally in front of you as you open this data grid so guys if you want all the data which is existing inside this data grid view to be displayed completely or you can say you don't want any of the data to be hidden after opening this data grid view so if you want uh, such things in your data grid so go into the properties of the data grid and friends uh, just go at the top of the properties and uh, from this auto size column mode friends choose here displayed cell so whatever the data which is existing inside each and every cell will be displayed in front of you so now if you run this so here friends you can see that uh, whatever the empty space that was existing inside each and every cell that has been removed and uh, you can see that this chicken masala murg is also displayed so friends the size of this data grid will increase or decrease as per the width and height of the data which is existing inside this data grid that is why here guys you are seeing the vacant space because all the empty space which was existing inside each and every column that has been removed and only that space has been allowed to the to each column which is required by the uh, width of the actual data now friends uh, if you want to change the color of the data grid so friends see here how we can change the background and full color of the data grid so for that you will go to the default cell style and guys here we will also change the font size of the data grid so friends uh, if you want to change uh, change the font size so from here itself uh, we will be changing the font size vardana and making it bold and font size is 14 then guys uh, we will change the four color four color to white and uh, background color to somewhat uh, i am taking uh it should be indian red or you can say not indian red i am choosing a rosy brown and guys i want to display all the data in the center of the cell okay so here is the alignment of the data that how the data will be appearing inside the each cell so at the present moment all the data is uh, means appearing on the left side of the cell so it's better to have in the center of the cell and guys now if you run and compile this form so here you can see that entire cell is having the uh, rosy brown color and the font of the each data which is existing inside this data grid is having the color of white okay now friends one thing what you are seeing here that the lower most uh, portion of this g is hiding okay so now also guys if you uh, see here this g means the g of the murg is not displayed totally so if you want to increase the height of uh, each uh, row you can say like i want to increase the height of this row i want to uh, increase the size of each and every row so for increasing the size guys we will again come back to the property and uh, here guys we have one option row template and uh, here is the size of each row so i want to make the size to 35 and friends if you again 
run and compile so guys you can see that each and every data is displayed and actually the 35 is the height of this specific row actually okay so each row is having the height of that 35 now friends uh, we want uh, we want alternate row to have a different background color and four color so guys for that go to the property and uh, here guys we we will be getting the option of this alternate row default cell style from here guys you can uh, configure everything re related with the alternate row so i want to give it a color of india red and four color is white it's good and uh, no need to do anything else so friends now you can see uh, we have a very good look in front of you and the data grid is also appearing in quite a readable form everything is having a bold bold letter and uh, the height is also there and friends you can also see that uh, each and every data like if you see here inside this category which is displayed in the center of this column this haldi is displayed in the center of this column so every data is in the means or you can say is displayed in the center of the each column but guys here you you, you are seeing that this sub category which is the he, means header of the column is not being displayed in the center of the column so for this guys we have to change the property and the property that we will be changing is guys here we will be changing this column header default style so whatever the alignment you want related with the column header or whatever the font size or background color of the header you want to change you can change from here itself and i want each and every column header to be aligned in the center or you can say it will be visible in the center of the column now guys if you again run and play this data grid so guys we have this you can see here that qty is appearing in the middle of the column now guys if you uh, somewhat make this form uh, bigger because not all the data is displayed in front of you so just resize this form in such a way that all the columns of the data grid is displayed in front of you yeah now guys every data is displayed so now friends in the end of this video lecture two more things i want to teach you uh, the first thing is that guys uh, here I want to change the size of each of the text which is displayed as a column header or you can say I want to change the size of this uh, uh, things like QTY, unit, subcategory, these type of words that are appearing in the header of the column and uh, second thing guys uh, we want to change, change the color of this violet color that, that here you are seeing at the background of the data grid to the rosy brown color. So for that guys, uh, first we will uh, resize this form so that everything is displayed in front of you and guys uh, now we will change the property according to that whatever we want. So if you want to change uh, anything re related with the column header, so here is the styles related to column header. So guys uh, the back color is not applied here so make it as a default and guys we want to change the font color of it so i am changing the font color and size actually i am changing the font size of it it should be 12 and click ok now guys i want to change the background color of uh, that data grid to be rosy brown so in order to change that we have here one option of back color so here is the background color and I want it to be rosy brown so now if we lay it so guys here you can see that the complete data grid is visible to you 
and I, I hope and I think that uh, you'd be liking this view of data grid and friends uh, don't forget to post your views inside uh, my that YouTube video channel and so hope you have enjoyed this time so friends in the end I want to only say one thing that if you are interested in more such type of videos related to uh, software development or website development and even if you are interested in videos related to networking like CCNA or Red Hat then you can visit to my uh, video channel which is YouTube video channel of Dipen Dikchit so in order to re reach there just open this uh, google.com and here guys simply type my name that is Dipen Dikchit and guys click google search and guys just click this uh, first link that here you are seeing which is Dipen Dikchit YouTube and when you will click this first link then you will see this page here guys you will see a lot of video related with different subjects or you can say field like a uh, MCITP course which is related with networking CCNA which is also related with networking and here is guys the videos which are for uh, schools the video for bookshop and different uh, the projects on different language like java c data structure and guys in the end we have this red hat linux which is related with networking field and these are few videos which are related with website designing